What's happening everyone, we're back today with another video. Uh, we're currently doing some work on a friend's car of mine who's currently in the same car club as me which is Mark's at Sakeover, so a big shout out to those guys. We are going to be doing a rear wheel bearing today as he is um, down the road and is hearing quite a loud whirring noise from the back. So today we're going to be doing that. Just waiting for him to get here so I'm just prepping a few things so when he arrives it's nice and organised and we can just crack on with the work. Okay, so car is now jacked up and we have the wheel off. Uh, one thing you'll notice straight away, obviously the dust cover is missing for this bearing, which is probably the reason why it has failed. So I'm going to need to source one of them at some point, because unfortunately the new one doesn't actually come with a new one, which is a bit annoying. So we're just going to start with taking this carrier bolt off here. And then there is one just under there as well to get this carrier assembly off which will enable us to then knock off the disc and then obviously remove the centre nut to remove the whole hub assembly. Okay, so after a bit of struggle, or a lot of struggle I should say, caliper assembly is now off. We just need to get a copper hammer and just strike the disc a couple of times just to get it off safely. Because obviously we want to reuse this item, so we'll just put a lug nut here so it doesn't come flying off when we hit it. And then hopefully we'll be having access to the actual wheel hub assembly itself. Thanks, dear. Yeah, it's alright. Okay, so the disc is now off. It's now time to remove this centre hub here. Okay. Hopefully a bit of luck, she'll come off, like so. And as you can see, that bearing is shot. You can see all the grease is all black and nasty. Same on the hub there, so we'll just give it a quick clean off camera, ready for my replacement unit to go back on. Okay, so when your hub assembly is off, you'll see it looks something like this. I've just given the face a little clean up. Uh, off camera. To get to the bearing you need to take this um, ABS ring off, just be careful not to damage it. So I'll quickly just remove this now. And as you can see, come straight off and then after that you can now see the circlip which is holding the bearing in. So we'll just take this circlip out these can be quite fiddly, so hopefully this won't go too bad. I normally use a set of um, circlip pliers. As you can see, they like to slip quite a lot. So you just got to be quite careful with them. Just get a screwdriver underneath it, like that and work her out and as you can see ping straight out so now we've got this uh, clip out of the way we will now go over to the bearing press ideally you want a suitable size um, 
like sleeve or socket that will press this bearing out happily. I find that. Don't know if you can see that, but a 36 mil socket does the trick, as you can see, falls right in and fits lovely into place. So we'll just quickly go over to the press and I'll time lapse me just pressing the old bearing out and putting a new one back in. Apologies, you can't get a uh, 36 inside the hub. So it's a 32 to push out and then a 36 ideally to push it back in so you're actually on the outer race because it doesn't really matter what happens to the old bearing. Just thought I'd let you know. Okay, so as you can see now, a new bearing is fitted and nice and snug. And as you can see, and usually the new bearing kit comes with a new a uh, a new circlip. So we're just going to fit this bad boy into a little groove now. Like so. And then fit our ABS ring very gently and she is home So the bearing is all changed now. Hopefully we'll show you now fitting it to the actual car itself, which isn't too bad of a job either, but I just wanted to get the worst part over and done with. Okay, so as you can see, I've just uh, give the area a little wet sand because there was a bit of a uh, burr from the old uh, bearing. So hopefully now the hub should just slide on quite nicely. Just place you down. Sometimes if it gets a bit stuck like that, you can literally just get a suitable size socket, in our case it's 27, it's so about the same size as the inner race. Give her a tap, she'll go home. Just where the hub's probably a bit worn than the rest of it. Or not as good as a quality of bearing. Now we're, we're in place, there's no plate whatsoever, which is good. But we'll double check everything after anyways. Put new nut on. ready to go. Fortunately we don't have the dust cover but remember always to refit the dust cover because uh, this will cause it to go wrong but um, I will get him one so ASAP so he doesn't have to worry about it but it's quite a dry day today so we'll be happy enough to drive home. Okay so we'll put this back on. Okay so the covers Somewhat back on now. Just get her lined up. Bolt in there. And the bolt's back in there. So we'll just quickly tighten these up.
there you have it. So I'm not going to bother putting the wheel back on on camera and all that sort of stuff, but as you can see, that's pretty much the principle of doing this job. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video of me doing this wheel bearing on Dell's ST. Be sure to give him a follow on Instagram, which I'll leave in the description, and be sure to shot, uh, follow the Mark 6 takeover page as well. If you like what you see, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more content, and I'll catch you later.